Hello my beautiful unicorns! Welcome back to my channel! Today I have a very requested video for you all which is my favorite nude lipsticks So you guys know I'm obsessed with nude lipsticks I'm always wearing one I really love to play around with colors sometimes but I can tell like the nude shade is the best for me I don't know why but it's just the way I like to see my makeup but I also know that nude lipsticks are the hardest thing to find like a really good nude lipstick is very hard first because it needs to match your skin tone somehow there are nude lipsticks for every single one of us and sometimes there are shades that work for our skin tone and shades that don't so you need to find like the perfect shade for you and i have some options for you today i have my own favorites but maybe there are some that works for you too and i'm really excited to share with you my absolutely faves and I'm gonna do lip swatches of all the shades so my lips are probably going to bleed after this video but I'm gonna do it for you guys and because I really love you so the first shade is my absolutely favorite I use this shade all the time it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is one of my favorites and the shade is naked you probably can't see on camera but honestly there's barely any lipstick there so Anastasia if you're seeing this video please supply your girl out so this is a very light nude shade but I don't know it's not like too pinky it's just like a perfect shade so it's like my favorite nude and then still from Anastasia Beverly Hills I have two other lipsticks so next one is very similar to the naked shade but it's the strip I'm gonna swatch this for you they are very very similar but one of them like the naked one is a little bit more pink and the other one is a little bit more brownish so this is a strip shade it's just a little bit more brown than the naked one but honestly they are very very similar but these two are like my go-to's these are like the nude shades that I would wear like every day now this shade is the last nude from Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm gonna show you but this one I also really love this is a darker shade of nude and this is called the sepia and I really love this one because it has a lot of grey in it and I really prefer when the shades are, have more grey in it and this is like my favorite darker nude so from Anastasia Beverly Hills my three go-to's are the Naked, the Strip and the Sepia Anastasia Beverly Hills is not like the cheapest brand but honestly their products are so so good so now this next shade is from NYX Cosmetics this is the next brand I'm gonna talk to you guys about I have three matte lipsticks and one lip gloss to show you and NYX is much cheaper than Anastasia Beverly Hills if you want my honest opinion I love NYX products but when it comes to matte lipsticks the Anastasia Beverly Hills are a little bit better but they are also really good so if you don't want to spend much money I really advise you to buy these ones because they are very beautiful on the lips and if they come off you can just apply another layer so this shade here is called Bustier and I really love this one because it almost fills a blank between the sepia one from Anastasia and the naked one this is almost in between them both and I really really love this grey shade now this shade is called the lace detail it's also by NYX lingerie honestly this is like the perfect dupe for the Anastasia naked shade they are almost the same the only difference is really like in the quality and when you're applying it because the NYX lingerie the lighter the shade is the harder it is for you to apply like an even layer I feel like I need to go like two or three times for the color to be like perfectly blend and my lips get a little bit dry with this one but it's cheaper than the Anastasia and the color is like exactly the same now this shade is called Dust to Dawn it's also by NYX lingerie and I really I love this color because I feel it's a little bit different from all the other nude shades I own this one has like an orangey undertone because sometimes you just need a break from all like pink brown gray nudes and this one is a really good option it has this kind of peachy orangey vibe it goes really really well with like a pinky orange blush okay so this one is a gloss shade thank god because my lips are getting so numb and swollen this is called the spirit and this is very like special to me because 
I was never a fan of glosses, lip glosses. My hair always got stuck on them. I wasn't a fan. But once I tried this one, now this is like my favorite. I'm wearing this every day. It's always on my bag. And I tried some other glosses and I don't know, I, I just like this one. For me, it has like the perfect amount of glow. It's not like too shiny. And like the undertones are very, very beautiful. Now this next shape, it's from a brand called Essence and this is the cheapest brand from this video and probably the cheapest makeup brand that I know. I usually find this at drugstores or supermarket and the quality is very good for the price you pay so I really love these products. This is called the Matte, Matte, Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss. And I really love this formula because it comes in between the gloss and the matte lipstick. This is the shade number two. This is probably the most pink out of all the shades that I'm going to show you. It doesn't dry your lips like the other lipsticks, but it also stays a little bit longer than a lip gloss. And just the texture of it on the lips is very like soft and comfortable to wear. I don't believe they have many nude shades of this range. They have like a, a different colors, like red and all that stuff, but they don't have many any different nudes and I wish they had because I really love this formula. So the last shade I'm gonna show you is this one. I really love this shade and the brand is Saint Marcel or Saint Marcel, I really don't know. But this is a matte liquid lipstick. I don't own much products from this brand. I only own this in like a highlighter palette, but the products that I own I love them so much that I will probably buy again from this brand. It's not like the cheapest brand, but it's not that expensive. Like this lipstick is like $15 and the texture on the lips is very, very good. I believe this formula is even softer on the lips than the Anastasia one. Just like the Sepia or the Bustier, this is kind of a darker nude, but this one is more like a pink shade than the grayish one, but also has a lot of gray undertone. I have some other nude lipsticks that I wear, but are very, very similar to these shades. And I think I combine my absolutely favorite lipsticks so I can show you guys. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like to see me every Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best and I see you next week. Love you.